Well, 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 well. <clears throat> How are we doing? How are we doing today? Hope we're doing okay. That's what I hope we're doing. Just setting up some stuff um, in here simply because I've had a bit of a computer nightmare. There's always a computer nightmare to have, isn't there, really? Um, the video software that I use to make my content, Video Studio 2023, all of a sudden stopped working, right? Um, which is just what you want. And I nailed it down, I think, to some of the new blue FX stuff. Transitions, fades, all that sort of thing. Anyway, I had to rip it all out. And with that, I had to do a, I had to do a bit of a couple of reinstalls. So, you know, um, kind of was what it was. So, yeah, that's kind of, kind of where we are at the moment. Kind of where we are at the moment. Right, so, okay, brilliant, good stuff. Um, all that seems to be working delightfully. Um, which makes a change. Commander Saber, how are you? Hope you're doing okay today. But what are we going to be doing today? Well, I'm going to tell you. We are at the Crystal Shards. That's exactly where we are. And I'll show you. I'll tell you exactly where I am. If anyone was parked on my carrier, well, you're here now. Um, and that's kind of one of the things of where we are. So <clears throat> we're in HIP 36601. Um, first off, we're going to go to planet C1 right here. What we got on our ship? Well, we have got quite a few things, actually. Um, we're going to sort of hit it in with a couple of remote flak. We've got all the limpets, all of the things. We're ready. So, <clears throat> every man and his dog is here as well, by the look of it. Everyone's run out of materials. I took the liberty. Apophis, 07. Um... Yeah, so I took the liberty of trading down all my technetium and nutritium and all that sort of stuff into the lower materials. Um, whereas now, as you can see, I'm going to be uh, getting on with things. So the first planet I want to go to is C1D. C1A, C, D. That one. That's where we're off. That's where we're going. We're going to be launching. We're off. All good stuff. Right. Real. We got discovery scanners, we got eat sinks, not that we're going to need them. No shields on this crate. Crate Phantom. Behold the redness. Um, and we're off. Let's boost and jump. Now, I do have on this ship, just in case, SRVs, right? Just in case this goes horribly wrong. I have done it before with the limpets. I got a crap ton of limpets on board. About 72. Um, it'll take us a little while to get where we're going, but that's just the way it is. And I'm going to be stocking up. Stocking up with no messing about. It won't take us that long to get there anyway, so that's okay. So, with the crystal shards... Now, we could probably actually do C1A first and get ourselves on the map. Let's get rid of all them. Fleet carriers.
they're all they're all in that particular area. C five A. I mean, is that any closer? C five A happens to be closer. C five A has technetium, which is quite good. C three. So it's all in the same area. It's all much of a muchness, really. Uh, and we'll see how it all goes. All cool stuff. So, how are we all doing then? Are we doing all right? Are we doing okay? I hope we're all doing all right and okay. So it's a Wednesday and a Wednesday stream for me. Doesn't normally happen. Tell you why that is. Is that one, I'm in work normally. And two, well, I'm on holiday now today. Um, and everyone has gone out. My daughter's gone up her boyfriend's. The dog's been out for whatever the dog does. He's been fed. He's got water. The dog's happy. My son and my missus have gone up the Drayton Manor with her, with her, her sister and, and his cousins. They're diamond. They're so happy. Me, I'm happy. Done all my jobs. Cleared up. Put the washing on. Empty the dishwasher. All the stuff that the modern man does. Right? done all of this and um, as a result I am now free to do what I want how cool is that hey Mike how's it going how are you doing I'm uh, crystal sharding today which sounds a bit nasty so yeah total total run of the house how cool is that hmm Oh, you've missed some stuff, Mike. Um, we've been doing the thaggies and everything. It's exactly what we've been doing. We've been doing loads of stuff. Well, we are indeed eating up some miles. So C5 is the one we're actually looking at. So we're going to be... Where do we, where to find these crystal shards? Well, I'm in HIP36601, which is quite out there, to be honest, as you can see. And when we get on approach, we'll be using that... Um, oh, that community goal, Mike, that's easy. Um, we're going to scan the planet, drop down, mine it up. We're going to jump back there and do something less boring instead. That's the whole idea. Now, C5A, Technetium, like I mentioned. That's what it's all about. Belisario, 07. Cyber Zero. Yo, yo, yo. How are we all doing today? So I was just explaining to chat earlier on. Ooh, yes. Everyone's gone out and left me to it. Well, apart from the dog, who will be a right pain. So far, it's going all right. So we're eating up the light years, light seconds. There's going to be a bit of, you know, moving about. I am actually wondering, should I jump the carrier in system? I could, couldn't I? Make things a little bit easier. So we'll jump it to, if we can, C1D. You never know. Do, 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 do. C1. C1A will do, really. Set the carrier destination. Could we? Yeah. Little inter-system inter jump. 
take it 15 minutes, it'll take me about an hour to get there anyway. No dramas at all whatsoever. Gunboat Kevin! How you doing, Kevin? It's been quite exciting today. I've been setting up a Synology NAS. And, yeah, you know, quite straightforward to get the hardware up and working. Uh, and what have you, and all, all that messing about. Um, I think it, I think it's all right. I do think it's all right. Um, to get me Plex stuff on there now. That'll take absolutely ages, that will. Absolutely ages. So, what are we rocking on this? Well, I'll tell you. We are rocking remote flat cannon. Um, forward fire will set that. Got a beam laser on there as well. Uh, got collect Olympic controller, because you got to have one of them. Um, at least I hope I have. Yes, I've got Operations Limpet Controller. Absolutely fantastic. And because these are materials, uh, this means that we will not be using up any cargo space, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's all good stuff. So this is just a terribly painted, had to use it on something, I suppose, paint job. It's got butterflies and flowers and bits of plant on it. Like, why would you? Um, I really don't know, but apparently you do. It's some people's cups of tea. It's a bit Hawaiian tropic for me. Uh, but either way, this is what we're using. Because it's cheap, like the budgie. Rebuy on this baby is a whole 4.5 million. Now, you'll see my balance has gone down quite considerably. I did dump a lot of stuff in the, um... Into my carrier. I'm trying to build up the carrier money. So I don't spend it on ships and things. Because you go up by a big capital ship. You kit it out, A-rate a it. You are looking at half a billion to a billion. Easy. Especially on the bigger ships. And I think everyone's had a couple of rebuys what with the Titan stuff going down. So with all that happening, um, I thought best make some money. Ooh, and I made nigh on two billion over the past two sessions, which was nice. But now it's the next big commodity. Raw materials. It's going to be stuff like your tritium. Polonium, ruthenium, tellurium, technetium, all that good stuff, you know, um, and anything else I can basically get my hands on, to be perfectly honest with you, I've got to get hands on something, so, so yeah, good stuff, who's this, ooh, that is, raised dubs, 07, Commander. Yeah, and why not? This is something that a lot of people don't tend to do a lot. Uh, and as a result, run out when they most need it. So this is what we're doing. We're having a bit of this today. So it's a bit of a housekeeping one as well, really, if you think about it. It's a bit housekeeping. Who knows? Either way... This is what we're doing, and I'm all right with it. So, <clears throat> 10,000 light seconds to go. Simondo, how do?
We'll be there in no time, look. Ripping through it. Utterly ripping through it. You're off to the Pallades Nebula to kill a Medusa in under six minutes. Why would you want to do that? Well, whatever. I mean, good for you. Uh, how are things anyway? I, we all wish you luck. Commander Blue Void. And a big 07 for you, by the way. O oh, for rank. Ah, uh, yes. So, my rank hasn't moved despite all that Thargoid killing on the weekend. And there was some Thargoid killing going on. I tell you that. Are we there yet? Oh, I wish we were. Um, have they done something to the Thargoids affecting your rank? I thought they had nerfed it. Because we'd all be Elite Four by now. Zontar. 07 Zont. My 07 wasn't working then. 07. Is this far from the bubble? Uh, yes. Uh, about 1500 light years out. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's glacial. I mean, I have really shot some things. Copy surface scanner ready. We're going to slow it down. Speed up. We're, gonna, we're just going to collect whatever we can. We're going to fill up all the hoppers. Why well, I'm at the top of the galaxy. Why not? I thought it's nice to get out and about. This is quite a decent place to get all materials and others as well. Um, could even do some low temperature diamond mining. Don't know why, but I could. She's kind of my go-to spot for this. Yeah, yeah. I know. As you can see, I've already scanned this planet. Uh, we're going in. We're going in. A lot of other people seem to be here as well. So it just so happens, we are going to go right about there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy does it. We're going to go in, we're going to glide in, we're going to do all the business. All the Watch nasty. Right about there. Because why not? <clears throat> Good stuff. Fish sticks, how you doing? <clears throat> okay, we're going to drop. Bit of that on, bit of that on. I want to be about by there. Nice and low. Perhaps a bit higher than that. <laughs> and then we're going to have a look. Hmm. 
so what's this? It involves making the guide basically paralyze from and ha oh okay. This is where you find light. Got me remote flak on the go. Um, all of them. Technetium, Yatritium, all that sort of stuff. Normally I'm falling over the bloody stuff by now. Hardly what you call a dense field, is it? But uh, anyway, here we go. Which is fantastic. I'll find somewhere a little bit denser. Get my collectors on the go. Cargo scoop deployed. Never know, something might happen. is where we see the limpets just destroy themselves. Limpet destroyed, max range exceeded. Brilliant. This might not be the best way of doing things. Come on, limpets, off you go. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Point your ship directly into the middle of the spikes. Yeah, I know one two are a joke. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Let's find somewhere a bit more dense, shall we? And let's sort these flipping fire groups out. Remote flak. Let's get rid of that. And let's put the, what do you call it, collector on it. Crying out loud. Well, that should do it. If I'm over 700, that should do it.
Come on. There you go. Oh, I'm giving the crystal shards a bit of beef. Yes. Zonta, yes. Those two, brain trees for polonium and mercury and all the rest of it, to right. And try and find ourselves a denser field. This was quite literally just, you know. What do we get there? Good old technetium. Nice and easy. Probably more denser fields out there. We're going to have a look now. So like I said, I took all my stuff and I just rinsed it. I utterly, I utterly just rinsed it. Oh yeah, besides selenium. Spring snow, is it, fish sticks? Sun's out, yeah? I mean, it's utterly piddled down most of the evening. Um, but... Does seem to be okay. Arsenic? Yes, there is. Uh, there's a video on my channel about it. Bit of arsenic. It's just nice and early for you, Sime. We'll get this stuff picked up and we'll go and find somewhere a bit more denser. I mean, it's doing its job, isn't it? You know, it's nothing too heavy. Yep. Right. Let's find somewhere, I don't know, a bit more denser. For example, there's a cluster of four. Ooh, I hear you all say. It's getting about 600 meters away from the thing as well, so the limpet don't have an head fit. Like it just as. OK, 
Come on, pick it up. It saves Betty trundling around in a... Saves trundling around in SRV all the time, innit? So what's going on in the chat then? Selenium. There is a place for selenium. It was a good stream the other day, mine, wasn't it? It wasn't yesterday. We didn't stream yesterday. When did we stream? Day before. What day is it today? Wednesday. Bank holiday has really sort of like thrown me out, to be honest. I enjoyed those base defense missions are a lot of fun. A lot of fun. They can be quite hectic. Pick up the material. You know you want to. Hardly what you call rip roaring, though, is it? You know, but this is this is this is it, isn't it? Really, this is just what it's all about. Oh, where are we? Thirty-seven. Mm. If I went back up, they just disappeared, and I went back down again. Right? It would respawn, and that would be it. I know, come on, DJ Burp. I got a week off. It's bliss. To be fair, I'm bored. I'm always bored when I'm not in work. I need work. I need work. And I had to take some time off. Because I was burning out. And then it's like, hmm. Wonder what's going on. You know, that sort of thing. Garden planters for two days straight, blimey. So we're going to back off a bit, right? Can't see him. And then we're going to go back down. And they're going to reappear. Honest. And then we're going to go and find some a bit more, bit more of a denser field. I know seven to twelve spikes. I know. Bit more denser over there, look. What is going on? Uh, 
This sort of stuff has to be done. I mean, is this is kind of the grind, isn't it, really? Ah, this isn't working over there, is it? Get myself pointed right at the sausages. That should do it. Well, you're going to go and sample it out. You're going to go do the um, the scout sampling. Could be the way forward, couldn't it? Get some of that AXI many. Could be good. Don't destroy my limpets. Oh, it's got some in. Good stuff. Come back to me. Come back to me. Um, Stormlinks, 07. Yeah, well, I mean, I think I was lucky the other night. I had six, didn't I, the other night? Um, I think I was quite lucky. I'm not going to be handing him in. I'm handing one in and that's the end of it. I've got no need for 20 million credits. I can make 20 million credits quite easily uh, by not doing any of that stuff. Um, Oh, you watched the thumbnail video. Well, you're the one. Um, <laughs> nobody else watched it. I suppose they will over time. Um, but yeah, uh, I had all these thumbnails just laying about, right? And I thought, what am I going to do with them? And I thought, well, why not? Why not, eh? Put a video out. Well, yeah, this is it. I mean, I, I've had to take annual leave as well, else I would have gone mental. And then for me, the rest of the year just goes mad. You know, the next time I'll be breathing will be like end of the summer and then Christmas. Which is good. I, I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy my job. I really do. You thought it was great? Thank you very much, kind of DJ Burp. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so in case you're all wondering what happened, it was um, a case, well, I was cleaning up the PC, la PC last night. And there was all the um, thumbnails that I create and then just leave in my downloads folder that sort of thing and uh, I thought oh well everyone's doing the 100 screenshots and I thought well I did 100 screenshots as well I thought I tell you what I tell you what I'll do I'll um, put all those thumbnails do a similar thing and I just didn't I just didn't realize how much content I do Some of it was. Well, a lot of it was, I think, really. I mean, I do do some videos, and, and I've I've got some videos to be released later on in case things sort of, like, dry up. So, um... Doc! 07. Oop, did that work? 
I know what you did, didn't it? Right, let's have a look then. Let's go and see if there's a bit more of a cluster. Oh, one moment. It's the door. Dog was giving it ruff, 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 at the postman. Gonna make you laugh. And our post lady is quite a small, petite young woman. Doesn't like dogs. Makes you laugh. So the, the graphics card you got, yeah, some it, it can do. You can set it up with um, with the Nvidia. Nvidia can do the the thing straight to it. I tend I tend not to because there's all the other things I do with it as well. But um, yeah, now I've got kind of got OBS doing its thing. What kind of dog? Me? Commander Palmer, 07. Uh, schnauzer. Little schnauzer. Pain in the big bottom he is. Good doorbell, mind. Even though I got the, got the, everyone's got the ring doorbell these days, like, isn't it? Ding dong, ding dong. Um, but... Him, I, I can hear his back through like three sheets of double glazing. It's unbelievable. Yeah, there's a couple of... It, there's loads of things your graphics card can do. Like, it can, it can apply a filter over the game you're playing as well. That's something I was messing around when I was playing with Conan. Um... Now you can play Conan in black and white. It's quite good fun. Whoa, now fish sticks and people will love this. Now we got a little dent. Now, now we're getting a bit denser. Just gotta try and remember where the bloody hell that was. Here we go. It's actually more denser than that. But that'll do. Cargo scoop deployed. Oh, they do. I, lo I love him. I love him to pieces. He's a grumpy old sausage. Really good personality on the dog. Very intelligent dog. You know, I'm not going to play chess with him, like. Don't get me wrong. But, like, he, he, knows, he knows how to get what he needs. 
Yeah, that's right, DJ Burp. Um, I tend to, like, put a bit of post on it as well, you know? Um... How are we doing on Tacnetium? Oh, we're, we're going to be nearly there. You've got to release the pla the flak button um, when it gets near the area. And the recticule fills up anyway. In fact, what we'll do, we'll back off a bit and then uh, this little site will fill up. In fact, I flew over one and then didn't turn around quick enough. I was boosting when I should have been driving. Anyway, there was one... Let's see, let's go down a bit. Down, 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 down. It was here. So I was like, yeah, you go. Bang, there, right, fantastic. There's over there. Come on, out of, see, out of ammo on that one. Bastard. Right, where was I? Bye, my pretties. So we should get... Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. There you go. Flying monkeys. So what's this? So you can use the clips with Power Director 365 and now produce 4K edits. Exactly. Even at your years, good grief. It's all right. You are never too old to learn stuff. Do you know what? It's exactly right. Like I was saying earlier on, last night, um... I use Video Studio, Coral Video Studio. Have done for years. I know the software. Great. Um, can't get on with Vegas. Anyway, Video Studio. So I bought Video Studio 2023 last year. Tried installing it. It wouldn't have it. Flattened the computer. Installed it. It worked. Then last night, just fired it up to do my thumbnail video. And uh, nothing. I thought, oh, what's going on now? Oh, I reinstalled it. No, nothing. Brilliant. And it turns out that it's like one of the new blue FX special effects packs is showing up as malware. Apparently. I will say apparently. But who knew? Who knew that? Either way, is it that 2023 build is dodgy. I've really got to think if I'm like this coming up in the next two months, they'll be releasing the 2024 version. I think, shall I really? I don't know. Yeah, that's the same version I got on Humble from Vegas for like $20. And then I managed, again, off Humble, 
to get something a bit a bit newer, like in Vegas twenty twenty or something daft like that. It was, um, and I thought oh, I'll get to grips with that. Nah, never bothered. Never bothered. Has it really Canva? Do you know what? Canva, if 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 any of you need to do creative stuff in work, you have to have Canva. My god, it's like it's like having an operating system. You just have to have it, right? Um so I do my thumbnails on Canva. I do stuff for work on Canva. Um, I do animations on Canva. You know, the AI integration is also there on Canva. It's great. It really is. And it's cheap. Do you know what? It, it might well have been because all the schools have a license as well. And it's like an emerge of all these free tools that are out there anyway. I have to look into the origins of Canva, to be honest. Well, we're nearly there. Canva's good. I mean, I've got Render Forest as well, which I use for animations for work. But I don't know if I'm going to renew that. Animations and, and all those, um, all the intros and that sort of thing. I am full of technetium. Look at that. Grey magic. 07. Right, let's have a look. What's next? Oh, well, there you are then. That's good. I'm off too. Because this is currently... What planet am I on? C1, C5A. C3B. Is where I need to go. Look at all these. Hot spots and everything. Ooh. Look at all that. Look at all that. You go mining and go absolutely fantastic miningness here. Anyway. Um, where did I say I wanted to go? C3B. Well, we haven't got to go to C3B, you know, it's, um, what's next on, what's next on the list? Um, uh, C5D, C5A we've done, C4, nothing there, C2, C1A, C1A. Hey, okie dokie. Cargo scoop retracted. Oh, really? I know it was really profitable, wasn't it? It was absolutely bonkers how much you were getting for void opals. I still got void opals and low temperature diamonds on my on my carrier. In fact, Right, let's get out of here and on to the next one.
turn it around. There it is. Okay, here we go. just flown past it. Right, brilliant. Right, what was I doing? Yes, very good. Okay, so God knows what we're going to be getting here. It was that C1A. What's C1A then? C1A is going to be polonium. Polonium, I tell you. Polonium. Conan's New Age. Ooh, it released today, did it? This could be tomorrow's stream. Hmm. Don't know. Okay. Okay, let's go let's go somewhere in daylight, shall we? That'd be pretty brilliant that, wouldn't it? Make a change. Let's go over there. That be in daylight, that is. Orbital flight engaged. Orbital flight engaged. This is where we're at. This is where we're headed. Nice, lovely, dense patch round by here. That'll do for me. It is, actually, it is, it is quite nice, you know, um, bit of a chill out stream, you know, it's just something that I was going to do anyway, so yeah, it, it's, it's pretty good to be honest, it's pretty good, it's, it's mad, it's, it's all, you're all over the place, and then someone goes, oh, well, you should be doing this, and I'm going, I know, but I can't do everything. One of those things, isn't it? Let's find some stuff then. One or two spikes there. I want something a bit more denser. Obviously. They're starting to grin through.
This will do. Let's just get some on the board, shall we? for somewhere a bit more denser like that over there that's a bit more denser I think uh, just so happens now now the chat's not working unbelievable <laughs> this cracks me up this thing Either the chat works or the chat does not. YouTube chat doesn't work. YouTube chat works. It's just utterly ridiculous. So we are on polonium now. Good old polonium, polonium. <clears throat> oh yeah, rebuys. Ridiculousness, isn't it? It's just a thing. You got to the point where you've got so much money, you don't care what really happens. You know, it must be fantastic. You know, having that sort of mentality. An awful lot of people just get really bent out of shape about it. You're like, oh, chill out, sister. You know? It's all right. Be cool. Be happy. Who cares? And there's always something, right, we haven't done. Always something we haven't done. It's just, you know. Let's have a look around and see if there's anything else we can find around you. Uh, I'm, hardly pro I'm hardly in the most densest area, but I'm doing it. Again, who cares? So that's still doing its thing. At least one's still working. It's a terrible paint job I've got on this ship. But again, who cares? It's all a bit fairy twinkle, isn't it? Pacey Giraffe! Oh seven. Oh yes, we're do it doing the chores. Oh, when you lose a cutter. It really does sting. It really stings. You know? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to back off. So we can see him. And now we're going to go back down again. And then we're going to let it have it. I don't know. Perhaps it'll do its thing. Who knows? <laughs> All the how-to videos. Yeah, and I've only got like about 12 billion myself. It's ridiculous. Remember getting my first billion and thinking, ooh, that's a lot of money. Um, in fact, I remember in-game getting to my first million. You know, scratching around the 300,000 mark with um, a Cobra Mark III and all the rest of it and thinking, it's going to take me ages. 
You know? It's funny when you think back. And now people can be playing for like a week. And, um... Or a couple of days or a couple of hours. And next thing you know... Have they got Anaconda? It took me bloody months to get that Anaconda. Oh, the first million feels great. Especially when you're banging around in a ship but with a rebuy is like 70 grand. You're like, ha, 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 whatever. You know. Oh, so you parked on a fleet carrier, had lunch, and off you went, and then... You were on your little magical journeys. No one knew, did, didn't know where you were. Chris Walters. Yes. Not in work today, so a little bit of streaming to be done. Picking up polonium. Polonium. Perhaps. Don't know. We might be picking up polonium. All depends if the limpets are going to do their job. Which they're not, by the look of it. Because I'm probably too low. I remember when it was still possible to target an Anaconda's power core and, like, one-shot it with, like, a barrage of rail guns. It was like... And the thing would go, lights out, and that would be the end of that. And job done. You know, I thought it was um, mental. You're still at work? Well, that's what annual leave's all about. Like a bit of annual leave me. But like I say, I do tend to get bored. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff, isn't it? God, you've got another, you've got another week. Gunboat Kevin says, retire like you. Well, I've probably got another 10 years. And it was quite strange yesterday because one of the first jobs I had was in an IT department. And, and one of the guys there, he was a bit older than me. Obviously, he was a bit older than me. He was about six, seven years older than me. And uh, he retired yesterday on LinkedIn, put his post up. I have retired. I've powered off and all my stuff's on my chair and I've retired. And I thought, no, what? What's going on? I thought, shit, I am that old. You know? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Tony. How's it going? Um... We're just doing crystal shards. Shards of crystal. Well, we were. Um, now we're looking for a little bit more of a denser, denser shard field. So we're going to get nice and low. Whiz about a little. Ooh, there we go. That'll do for me, Cocker. Right boat by there. Unleash the flying monkeys. Never know. They might actually pick something up. Oh, they're doing something. Good stuff. Yep, cargo scoops down. I'm gonna go make a cup of tea. Back in a moment.
Never noticed the R2-D2 in the background. There it is. I built that. When did I build that? About 2011. Uh, what had happened is, I was working for a tech company back then, and I had moved from technology into management. And having been an engineer and a technologist and all that for years and years and years and years and years, and years oh man, did I struggle. I struggled. It was a different problem to solve, right? Yeah, the Vincent's over here off camera. You can't quite see it. I had to move things around to get my arcade machine in. And, um... I thought, I'm a bit of a Star Wars fan, obviously. So I thought, I, I'm going to build an R2-D2. And my missus went, mm-hmm. I said, no, 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 seriously. And off we went to the Comic Cons and I joined the R2-D2 Builders Group and all the rest of it. And I said, I'm going to do that. And they all went, uh-huh. I said, oh, no, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I did. And the fun of this, fun of making that, is the sourcing of the 1970s materials that were used to build it. So, for example, right? So, hang on. <laughs> this bit by here, probably can't see. <clears throat> right. Still can't see it. This is bottom bit down by here, right? Yes, that bit there. 1970s washing up liquid, top. Stupid stuff like that, right? Um, but yeah, like the coin slots and, and all that. And this was before 3D printing. So it's all made of wood and PVC and all that sort of stuff. And, and resin casting, making the model and the moulds out of clay to the specifications, like. And then putting them all together. Oh, it's full size, yeah. It's remote control as well. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home, that's what I say. Oh, they are. It's great. People said, Oh, would you, would you, um, are you gonna, are you gonna sell it? No, not selling that. Did think about selling the Vincent. But then the black hole was on television the other day. And I said, I got one of them. And my missus went, I know. Because for a while it was in the front room. <laughs> but you can imagine, she's very long suffering. So now she's only got to make do with my proton pack in the front room. And things like that. She said the other day. This, this, this Ghostbusters proton pack going out your room. I said, I've got no room out here now. You know, what am I going to do? <laughs> oh. Yeah, but no, it's... um. Let me see if I can move the camera. Hang on now. Right, bear with me, everyone. Bear with me. So, just about to see the back. Star Galactica. Can you see him? Vincent. Woo! Vincent. Unfortunately, the camera's on a 
the cable. Well, here's the thing, see, with that, she wasn't given much of a choice. I said, I said well, where's that going to go? And I unpacked it and just... By there. You know? But, um... But, yeah, so it, it's... A lot of people... A lot of people, um... I don't know. It, the whole hobby making and, and model making aspect of things, when you consider what people like, you know, um, Sideshow and all the rest of it charge for these models, you can make them yourself. You know, the blueprints are available. It's like for R2D2, the blueprints are ready. You've got a 3D printer, you could 3D print one. You know, no dramas. I mean, it would probably cost you about... Well, I don't know how much filament is. How much is filament for a 3D printer? Let's have a look. 3D printer filament. Good grief. Okay, so you can get PLA Plus, right? This ESEN stuff. I used to, I used to use that. 1675? A roll, you would need about 20 rolls, and of course, I think a printer and the time. Yeah, I mean, I got rid of my 3D printer. The reason why I got rid of my 3D printer, and I gave it to one of the one of the boys I work with. Um, I was setting things to print, great, and I got a tweaky from Buck Rogers around us. It's not in here. Well, I don't know where it is. It's around us somewhere. <laughs> Um, you set it to print, and then you'd be in, you'd wake up in the middle of the night and go in. Oh, I wonder if it's okay. Hmm. And I I couldn't cope with this, right? I I couldn't cope with it. it. It was getting ridiculous. So I said, look, I said, I've printed everything I ever really want. For my own mental health. <laughs> Have it. Take it. Take it away. And it was um. A CR-10... No. It was a Creality, but it was the 400-bed one. Anyway. He introduced me to my current job, so it was the least I could do. Well, that's it. Some of the big ones, though, you can't. That's the only problem. Some of the big ones go on for a day if you want to get them, you know, continuous prints. It's like helmets. The kid, one of the kids, my youngest. Was it my youngest? No, it's my eldest. He wanted to go to a Halloween party, but he wanted to go as a death trooper. Now, not the ones in black. The zombie death troopers from Star Wars, right? No problem, I said. I can sort you out with that. Of course, they thought, Dad's got a 3D printer. He can make anything. No problem. And then I could. So I printed out, and we've got it. We put it up for Halloween and sort of stuff on poles. I printed out um, a Skull Trooper head. So a, typically a Storm Trooper helmet with the fangs and stuff. Um, and that was really good. That was really good. And then my younger son wanted the same thing. I was like, okay, well, this is getting a bit daft now. So the Ender 3 V2, that's a... Yeah, I know that one. That's a third... Is it 150 by 150? Is it not? I think it is. I can't remember. Oh, 250 by 250. Yeah, I could be right. You could well be right there. Well, I'm sure you are, because you probably look at it every day. I mean, I, I kind of like... Everything I learned about 3D printing, I have now forgot. Although, I do get dragged into these conversations in work. And they, they do sort of say, Well, oh, I've got this new one now, it's called a bamboo. And I'm like, okay. I have no idea what it is. But to be fair, the resolution of the prints are amazing. And it's, it's a case of, you know, fire and forget. 
Which is kind of what you want. You want that fire and forget, don't you? When you think about it, you've effectively got a hot glue gun on a CNC configuration moving around while you're in your house. Yeah, set it. I want. Here's the stuff. That's what I want you to do. I've pressed go. Now go away and do it and just let me know when it comes back. That's all you want to know. Otherwise, it becomes too much of a hobbyist, a hobbyist thing and... You know, with $25 for a roll of filament. You know, that starts to get a bit expensive, doesn't it? Danny Fiddler! 07. I mean, I enjoyed my time. I learned, I learned a hell of a lot uh, with 3D printing. A hell of a lot. And one thing I learned was the price of filament, the quality of filament, the humidity of the filament. And you think, hang on, I shouldn't be worrying about this. I just want to put the thing in there, say what I wanted to do, and it wanted to come out. And, and that's the misconception a lot of people have with it. It was a bit of a lockdown hobby. There was people there, you know, printing out, um, plastic face guards for the NHS, you know, over here. All that sort of stuff. But yeah, you're right. I mean, good hobby. Then you've got to work out where you're going to put all the stuff you've printed. And that's another problem. But yeah, all good stuff. But yeah, that's a that's a life size R two D two. That is. No worries, Tony. Catch you later. So yeah, there you go. Um. What, what are we doing here? Polonium, is it not? Oh, we're nearly there. It's not going as quick as the other one. Because I've been talking. Uh, and I haven't really got a good enough spot, have I? To pick up loads of things. I thought the other spot was going to be better, but oh, we'll see. Perhaps we'll head on over there, see what's going on. It's nice to have a nice chill out stream now. As opposed to things being utterly frantic. I mean, it's good to be frantic too. Like, what's this thing doing? Is it coming back or what? It's having a bit of a think about it. Something's happening. I think we're gonna move on. We're gonna wait till this is on its on its return journey and we are gonna move off in a random direction. I'm thinking like that way towards that rock and see what we can find. Oh I mean Warhammer Games Workshop, they realised they were losing out big style. Um, and they banned 
people put in prints or scans of their prints on um, on the sites like you know Thinkverse and all the rest of it. I mean, as you would. I mean, I never. I took my son in there one day and I said, "Come over, guys. See what you think. Get an additional hobby." Little did I know, 50 quid later, we got the starter kit. And who ended up painting the models? Me. He, he couldn't care less. He really couldn't. Anyway, some of those some of those mechs, they were like a grand. I was like, I looked at the guy with his beard and his, you know, cargo shorts on. And I said, you bandit. Why am I running shieldless? Um cargo basically uh, and just on the off chance that I needed an SRV is the plan this is the polonium run. I've got like, you know, another 30 odd ton to get. <laughs> After all this comes back. Gotta find a better hotspot for it. I know. I mean, the detail is fantastic and all the rest of it. You've got to appreciate what people are doing, but come on. You've got to be an uber fan for it. Says he with a full-size R2-D2 and a Star Wars arcade machine and a Vincent. And it goes on and on. Oh, you can print these things. Yeah, for next to nothing. Absolutely next to nothing. Geezer geysers over there. Oh, well, collection failed. Never mind. Let's move over here. What we got? So, we have got... Have a look now. Fire groups down to that one. I get something a bit different, you never know. It's picking stuff up from that that vent round by there, so we might get something a bit different. You never know. You never know. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, Frontier Warhammer. I mean, how many Warhammer 40,000 games? Frontier have one. Slytherin have got a load, right? An utter load. 
Um, in that the games are everywhere. There's even people there, you know, who have done the, um, the whole, I'll print the elite dangerous ships and then paint them job. You know, and good for them. There's that other one gone. You know, um, good for them. So I got a bit of Nubium as well then, which is always good. Um, got to stock up on whatever I can. I mean, I'm not precious about any of this stuff. What paint, paint job am I using? It's got flowers and butterflies on it. Um, I think it's one of the summer packs from last year. And there goes the limpets. So I'll be going back to the carrier to, you know, rearm on the limpets and whatever in a minute anyway, so. I was kind of hoping I would have done a bit better on the polonium. If you know what I mean. But them's the brakes. I don't even know what how, how how good are we on on the polonium. <laughs> Couple more to go. Who the hell's that thing? Oh, here he comes. See, it's not a bad paint job. It's very sort of like, you know, 1982, isn't it? But it was free from watching one of the streams. Quite nice.
And we're back. Right, so, what are we doing? We are... Oh, we're still collecting. Good. 144 on the polonium. That was good, wasn't it? Hundred and forty seven. The next one could be us. And then we're gonna move on to wherever the carrier is. So where are we now? We are at the polonium site. So we're gonna go to C one D and that's where the carrier is. That's where the carrier should be. Right there. Brill. Um, I think what we're going to try and do as well, right? I don't know if those things are going to... Knock any of the deposits off there. Because there isn't any deposits on there. That's why I swear it didn't knock any off. But while I'm here doing doing this, any of the volcanism around you is a good excuse to give it a blast and let the limpets go. Really? Might get a bit of nubium, might not. Anyway. Moving on. C1D is next, and that's Ruthenium. Taking damage. I think we can do our part. Obviously this weekend, and the good thing is, is that I'm left my own devices as well this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh my god, what are they doing to me? It's like all my birthdays have come at once. No worries, DJ Burp, catch you later. So we're going to hit the carrier now. Um, refuel and rearm and all the rest of it. It is quite nice, isn't it? It's not bad, I tell you, it's not bad. I mean, look at this ship, right? So that's the bottom. And that's the top. Well, that's the bottom, sorry. I actually think it looks better from the bottom. Like that. As opposed to... Like that. I don't know, what you think? Like that? Or like that. It's a strange one with this ship, isn't it? Right, where's this bloody carrier gone? There it is. So, in those systems, what's actually in them? I mean, is it power-up missions? Is it not power-up missions? Is it just combat zones? Bases under attack? I mean, whatever we can do, right, to lessen the load there could be quite good. Yeah, it's always looked upside down, isn't it? It, it was weird. 
Or you reckon Tyrannus was artificially weakened? Well, I think because Tyrannus was the first one there, right? Everyone typically had a go at that first, didn't they? You know, Tyrannus. Oh, do it was like do that first by default because it arrived first. That could have something to do with it. You're right, I, I think a lot of people are getting on board with it now. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. We are poloniumed up. I think what we're gonna do we're gonna put another another cargo racket. We're gonna drop out. We're gonna drop that out the uh, the vehicle bay, and um, so it's called Night Mango. If you were wondering, Night Mango, there it is. Incidentally, that's that's the crate Phantom Stinger Green, but Night Mango, and it's a bit like that, isn't it? Overdrive Green, but like. Full of totally tropical mango ness, man. Is what it is. Night mango, just in case you were wondering. Uh, right then. If I drop that and I put in. Oh. Uh, that for want of anything else to be perfectly honest and then I'll say oh I'll have more of them then please it won't be squeaky oh, bum time then will it capacity. right so launch we're off to C1D That's the one. And C1D is the home of Ruthenium. Right. Bit of Ruthenium. There's an obvious science about this with the spires and all the rest of it, isn't it? You know? It's, uh, it's weird. Okay. Moving on then, moving on, moving on, moving on, on, on. What are we going to do? We're going to go and get our ruthenium. Lovely, marvellous. Yep, C1D, you've seen them all. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I like a good, I like a good dad joke. Who doesn't like a good dad joke? That's what I say. All righty then.
So yeah, impromptu stream off this week. Bored. Nothing. Well, there's always something to do when you own a house, but I just don't want to do it. Like for example, I don't want to be still on the roof clearing out the gutters. Um, plenty of time to do that when it all dries up a bit. Like when it hasn't been persistently raining. Uh, and all that. P plus, Acura and M&M's. Not sure which age group. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get around the other side of the plant so we can see what we're doing. Ah, Paramount Plus. I see. Well, what did I start watching? It was good. Yet, yet, yet not rememberable. Ah, yeah. Ewan McGregor's in it. Our man in Moscow. Now, it's not my normal sort of picture or film, that, because there's no lasers, um, there's no robots come back from the future and all the rest of it. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, it's all about the rise of the Communist Party and the Great Russian Revolution and, you know, how the Russian royals were then basically cast out. And he plays a count who is... In, well, he's imprisoned. There's no other word about it. In a hotel where he's been staying because they burnt his house down. And I watched the first one, first two, very good. So that's something to do. It was quite good, to be fair. I enjoyed it. Loads more. Human signals, yeah? Let's get Dan on the deck. Put that on so we can see what we're doing. Hi, Ice. What's all this about? I do think I need... a beam laser. There's no pebbly things on that, is there? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Um, Cargo scoop deployed. Obviously nothing there. So let's go and have a, a bit of a nose around then. A look about running as low as a badger's ass is what we're doing. Nefarious, 
Well, let's have a look out for that one. I'll write that down in a minute. Yeah, but our man in Moscow, I thought, oh, not going to like that. But then again, I do like Ewan McGregor, obviously, but I liked him before he was in Star Wars, to be fair. Um... Okay, we're looking for nice spiky things. That's what we're looking for. Spiky spires. Bit of geological stuff there going on. Yeah, I don't seem to have come across anything. Ooh, was that something? Or was I imagining things? Probably imagined. Road, the new version of Roadhouse is terrible now do you know what films films are a bit of a contentious point i get it i saw the first one with patrick swayze in the cinema and even though it's a bit like an episode of the 18 you know usual thing mr big blah 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 um is not bad, right? It's much better than that new one. I mean, how to take an iconic film and, you know, it is terrible. It's terrible on so many levels. I can't, I can't begin to iterate how terrible I think it is. Roadhouse with Swayze is indeed classic film. Mrs. was watching it yesterday for a compare and contrast. And obviously, you know, she had, she was, um, couldn't remember it because I'm, I'm a bit older than her. And uh, she would have seen it on video. But like I said, you know, I saw it in the cinema. So it was, uh, it was a bit different. Oh, it was, it was great. You know, it was, it was, it was a brilliant film. Right, we should have fallen across something by now. This is getting a bit daft. I gotta go back up to orbit and scan the bloody thing. Oh, totally stop the remakes. Totally stop the remakes. Well, I'm going up to. This is, this is getting ridiculous. I should have. I should have seen loads by now. Exactly.
Normally I fall ac normally I just basically fall across them. All struck. No worries, dude. You have a good one. Do, 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 Crystalline shards. So there you go. That's basically where I was effectively headed. So... Like head for that there. I mean crystalline shards. Right here. It's I mean, all there. I mean, but like, you know, that's probably more concentrated, isn't it? Yes, the light, not the dark. It's, it's this one here, like here. I mean, it's very concentrated you're gonna find them there, but how many you're gonna find, or you get them there. I mean that's the great spot. It's not the whole area, no, I know. But, like, you're going to find them in that area. Like, I'm looking for the green here. If you can see right there, there should be loads right there. Right here. In that little valley. Rocks, yeah, one. Well, he weren't lying, there was one there. A non-human signature. Mm. Let's go and have a look at that later. Never know what you might get. A non-human signature. What are we picking up here? Ruthenium, I think, is the answer. That's the stuff. Okie dokie then, let's go back down and see what we can do. 
We're going to take it nice and slow. Back and forth to church. There's one over there. It one here, one there. Better than nothing at this stage. Perhaps not the best place, especially when that just explodes on the surface. Here he goes, and I went, oh, it's got some ink. Get ourselves in some Titan combat. That's what we want. Good stuff. Until a limpet blows up, and you go, ah, limpets. I've just got a feeling that this is going to be a bit of a chore, this one. Okay, so we got a few. Um, oh, there's a little cluster over there. One more having a good look at Conan. Pep was having a, a bash round with it yesterday. Um, I know it's one of her streams she was having a go. Graphics look amazing. Pacey Giraffe, off to work. No worries, dude. 07. Thanks for dropping by. Dune? Yeah. I think it's, it's going to be... It's going to be a... Well, both the games. I mean, the Conan franchise is brilliant, right? The Conan game is brilliant. I mean, I was late, very late coming to that. The Dune game, well, you know, that's going to be all what they've learnt on Conan and more, isn't it? Of course, this means I'm going to have to watch the film. And I find Dune very hard sci-fi to watch. <laughs> That's just me, though. I just... Remember seeing the first one in the cinema? Again. My God, Patrick Stewart with hair. Not much hair, granted. But he had hair. And, um... Remember that being hard sci-fi as well.
Right, let's go and find something a bit denser now, shall we? Got to be something around here that's a bit more dense than the single spire. Is what we currently have. Like one here, one there. And limpets are having head fit. Like you'd think there'd be an absolute ton down there, wouldn't you, in the bottom of that crater? Aha! Uh, some are just impacting on the surface, others are not. Same old story, really. We could be here a while, but that's okay, because this is all I have set up for today. I'm going to go here, get it done, then get back in. Try and find a spot around Oya. Oh, oh yeah. Let's get my gifts of Randy Savage out. Well, I got Conan years ago, and I remember seeing old Commander Plater, God rest him, playing it, thinking, oh, he's having a blast. No idea what he was doing. Um, I had no idea what he was doing. And then, next thing you know, it becomes a, a huge thing. Um, and I could never really get my head round it. Now, I kind of sort of get my head round it. Still don't exactly know what I'm doing, but I have fun with it. Yeah, Pep's good. Pep's really good at it. Don't tell her I said that, though. She will make me suffer. Still, you need a beefy machine to run it, don't you? A 1050 ain't gonna do it, really. Oh, I like Valheim. I played that when it came out in came out in Alpha, didn't it? I played it when it came out in Alpha, and I really enjoyed that. I thought that was good. Unreal 5? Yeah, I know. The Unreal 5 engine is amazing. Now, is that going to pick it up? No, it isn't. Is that going to pick some stuff up? Oh, it's got something. It's a little bit too mountainous, isn't it? What I liked about Valheim, it was very unassuming. And it went straight to the top of the charts. Then it kind of got a little bit too complicated and lost its way a bit. But I think it's okay now. 
They've done some. They've done some good work. Yes, and we're going to have all of this. And all of that. And some of that. Over there as well. So we're going to really... Try and get to about there. Unleash the flying monkeys and get this done. Because I'm not enjoying this bit, to be fair. Like when the when the limpets crash, it's almost when they're all going for the same limpet. And it goes, oh I can't do it. While that's doing that, I Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure there should be more things than what were picked up. So it's obviously had Ed fit. Things are stuck in the crevices, yeah, that's what it is. We'll see how this goes. I know the limpets. Oh, fab, I'll have a look at that later, fish sticks.
But yeah, you know, it, it's been... I'm interested to see, really, with Frontier now, what the next sort of, like, humdinger announcement's going to be. We had the Python. Very nice. We've had Power Play. Very nice. They've alluded to whatever's going on with Update 19. Fantastic. But it's now the mystery feature, isn't it? This is, this is the thing, the mystery feature. How much of a mystery is it? I mean, Toya, Toya Wilcox once said, it is a mystery. And she was indeed searching for a clue. But, apparently, her and her husband are on OnlyFans now. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. Toya and Robert's uh, Sunday lunch on YouTube is quality entertainment. I tell you what. Gravity defying. That's all I'm going to say. Race tracks for ships and SRVs. Well, do you know what? The race tracks, I mean, it's already in game. I just don't know why they haven't put it into the game as an item I mean okay it's in the starter systems exactly they already have it just expand on it this system is your racetrack system there you go one system that's all that's needed just one system everyone will be happy and then you get one of those bases then nice big circular base you put eight of those together with the track. You know, I mean, the artifacts are already there. I just don't know what they're thinking. Yeah, exactly. Or you do it within your squadron, within your team. Four of you race. If you want to cut down on instancing, that's going to explode. Oh no, yeah, yes it is. Right, let's just fly over there a bit so it goes away. Cargo scoop retracted. Ooh, now. Look at this. I'd be messing with that, and look at that. I think it's going to be base building. Is something. What if you could base build a racetrack? Ooh, now hang on a minute. That's an idea, isn't it? Don't you think? What if one of the things you could build would be roads and a racetrack? Ooh, now, now we're talking. Now we are talking about something. That would be semming. That would be semming. The elite noob, oh seven. Build your own track. That's exactly right, Chris. Build your own track. This could be the way. They could have a competitions running every month. They could pick a racetrack that someone's built. Lovely. 
And then that would be the track. that you would be doing the racing on. Just a thought. Could be, couldn't it? Whatever's happening down there, it's not happening, is it? I want to see what's going on down here. What's going on down here? Because there it is. Now, for some reason, I seem to be stuck. Well, that's why I'm stuck. It would be good, you know, and the best, the best one, you know, gets kept in the game. I mean, that is something they could do quite easily. Right. Build a bit of sort of like, um, momentum as well. In the game. And then again, you're always going to get people, oh, well, racing isn't really my thing. And you go, okay... It's got to be something a bit different, isn't it? It's got to be something... Alright, let's look at it this way. They're different games. What has Star Citizen got? That Elite Dangerous could bang in straight away. And the, real re the reason why I say this... Right, is that... It's obvious that Star Citizen has looked at Elite Dangerous, even in the design of the ships, right? And it seems to me, that's my opinion, that it's obvious, right, that, you know, there's, there's inspiration that's been taken there. Race tracks. For ships, SRVs, we need to have a tank, the mammoth tank. Do with a bit of that, can we? Um, you know that that sort of thing, really. That's what I'm thinking of. This site's a bust. That one might be better. What's that? F Dev could add a fifth or maybe sixth ship that would be oriented towards racing. Well, I mean, you've got things like the Further Lance and you've got the Mamba race packs and all those sort of things. So they've obviously thought about them. I mean, with all the shock mines and those sort of those sort of things, I mean, you effectively have got a version of Mario Kart, haven't you? Mario Kart in space.
I think that'd be a good idea. Original Gamer Online. Well, you just don't know. They might. I mean, they've entered a big thing and they've said, look, right, you know, let, let's mine our existing player base, of which it's very passionate. I mean, just look how many people are on the FDev streams. And then, and I get, I get an, a little bit of an inclination about this, is that the people who then watch my videos breaking down the stream because they've missed the stream. So you, you add all that together, right? There's a load of people out there playing or still interested and waiting for something to happen to bring them back into the game. A lot of people have said, new ships, brilliant, I'm back in. It was getting a bit stale, I had all the ships. That's what's important to some people. There are some people, power play, background simulation, lovely, have a bit of that. That's what's into them. For me, it was on foot gameplay. I, I think it's I think it's great. A lot of people hate it. They all say, oh, it's the game from, you know, 1995. I don't care. I like it. I have, I have, I have a huge amount of fun with all of that. In fact, I have too much fun sometimes um, at the expense of doing anything else. Oh, yeah, from 2014 to 2017, unstoppable. I would argue, in a nice way, of course, original gamer, that I think this is the second coming. I think they've gone, right, okay, if this game's going to go on for another five years, like what they've said, then what we're going to do is we're going to do this, 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 and this. We're not going to concentrate on the other, any of the other faff. Elite Dangerous, Planet Zoo, they've still got the Age of Sigma stuff, which, which I get. Right, I do get that. Um, and that was probably an expensive license. And they've got F1. You just got to look at what they've sort of like put onto the Frontier and Lock stuff so far. You know? Exactly. I think it's... This, I say it, this could be. Is it the Elite Dangerous second coming? Ooh, I feel a video coming on. Perhaps we should all do a creator round table. You know those videos that I'm never invited to? That tend to happen? We could, couldn't we? I would really have to have a think about how to do that. I think it's, I think you're right there. It's not hate. It's not grief. It's just frustration, I think, you know? People who just have invested so many hours in the game. Um, like this, on this account, it, it would tell a right story. Because there's got to be over 10,000 hours plus on this. I don't know. How do I find that out? Codex. That's me. Blah, 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 blah. Stats. Look at this. This, this, is, this is some bonkers stuff. I've got 91 ships, apparently. Look at the bloody million. Look, look, look at this. Shocking, isn't it? You re yeah, well, I, I don't know. Fish sticks. I mean, you have a good laugh when we play. You know what I mean? You have a damn good laugh. Forty-four weeks, four days, seven hours. Alexa, how many hours in forty-four weeks, seven days? Yes. 
So seven, so seven thousand hours, seven thousand five hundred hours, near enough. It's not bad, is it? Have we done this yet? Got bored, bored with ruthenium. Ruthenium, nearly. I mean, you know, it, it's... No, I'm with you there. I, I think a lot of it is, indeed, frustration. The problem with frustration is that that manifests itself in a lot of different ways, doesn't it? Well, yes, I, I, am, I am quite rubbish at combat. Uh, that's why. No worries, Blue Void. Catch you later. We just need one more. And I want to go and see what that non-human signal is. Which is right there. <laughs> right. Um. Okay, now what are we doing? Next up on our list. That was wherever we are. D. We done D. C three B. A tellurium. Shift drive charging. Yabba dabba doo. Are you in work, Chris? Three, two, <laughs> to make sure this is a safe for work stream, if you will. Nineteen thousand hours. I mean, that's a load, isn't it? Huh? That's a load. That's a human signal. Look at all these hot spots, yeah, look, crazy stuff. Scott, oh seven.
that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, we've done most things. I think we've done everything. I think. I'm trying to think there's something that we haven't done. Well, let's see. Let's run, a, let's run a poll. Let's run a poll, right? If you're on Twitch, you're running a poll, right? Uh, run a poll. Poll. Uh, let me set. How many hours do you have in Early Dangerous? <laughs> so we'll have... Um, Less than 5,000. Hang on, let me... I don't want to go... I'm going to shoot past it now, aren't I? Well, naturally, I'm going to shoot past it. So less th less than two thousand. Um, less than five thousand. Less than eight thousand. Let. So I'm doing less than right. We could do either way. Um, Ten thousand. Less than 20,000. We're going to run that for 10 minutes. You've all got a chance to vote. Off you go. Got to spend those Ricardo points somewhere, everyone. Place your bets now, please. There's a poll running on Steam. If you're on the YouTubes, um, I will, one moment, I'll put the same poll on YouTube. One moment. One moment, everybody. One moment. My channel. My channel, my channel, my channel, my channel, uh, community. <clears throat> right. Crystal Shards one's going well. I'll tell you that for nothing. Right. Um, how many hours do you have logged in Elite Dangerous? Nice question, Mark. Uh, uh, uh. Text poll, right. <clears throat> Was it less than 2,000? Less than 5,000? Uh, less than 8,000. 8, Add another option. Uh, Less than 10,000. And add another option. Less than 20,000. Post. Okay, so we, we got something on a go. We got something on a go on both. Look at that. We're, we're, we're multi platform today. Look at this.
Add still no options. Oh, it's going. People are voting. We've got three, four, five, six, seven votes so far. Right, so let's do that. We want to go crystalline shad. So you want to go for that nice sort of like greeny teal that everyone's saying. So we're going to go kind of like for that right there in the middle. Try there again. See what happens there. Oh, look, we found one. We found one. And there it is. Cargo scoop deployed. Right, what are we even looking for on this planet? This is C3B, which means we're going to have Tellurium. I know, rebuy them back to the bubble. That was mad. Someone's done it in a bloody eagle, didn't they? Or a sidewinder. Which, to be fair, that's hard work. Up to you, gunboat, Kevin. However you want to interpret it. I'm not precious about this, Paul. It's just, you know, we're doing this for science. So, less than 2,003, less than 5,003, less than 1,002. A lot of people haven't voted. So what am I picking up here? I don't know. Tellurium or something like that, isn't it? It's definitely something beginning with T. Tellurium. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Strange it's not showing voting options. That's weird, isn't it? It's on YouTube as well anyway, so you can you can you can vote on YouTube if you want to. Um A 
it's interesting, isn't it? You know, it's interesting. Yeah, it was it was something like that, wasn't it? Zonta, thank you very much, dude. Didn't have to do that. I do appreciate it. Ah, Pixel Bandits, I see. Yes, I remember them. So really, because I, I, there must be something wrong with the voting, because a lot of people haven't voted, but we'll see what's going on. Um... Normally I get a notification about these things, but it's just popped up, so Streamlabs must be having a head fit. Who knows Streamlabs? Um, or perhaps you don't, I don't know, but Streamlabs on occasion has a head fit and doesn't notify you of anything. I do have... What was that thing I had on... One of the kids bought me something. Something on Steam that you can link and have all these different things going on your stream. I mean, oh, thanks, kids, for buying me that. That's lovely. Oh, bloody hell am I going to do with that? Um, re anyway, when I've got time, I'll stream. When I haven't got time, I won't stream. And now I've got to set something else up for my stream. And I know my Twitch stream does leave a lot to be desired as in the things that are popping up. I find them quite irritating. Or is that just me? Okay, let's go and move over here, see what else we can find. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like calm and non-chaotic, too many things banging off and who was I watching the other day? I can't remember who I was watching the other day, but it was bloody chaos. The guy couldn't get his words out because there's pictures of rabbits poking their heads up and everything. It's like <laughs> bloody mental. Oh look, Zonta! Look, look. Five pounds. Coffee time. Zonta, thank you very much. Even though that happened about five minutes ago. And this is what I mean. Ooh, look at that. We're going to have all of them now. Unleash the flying monkeys. Oh, run, fly, my pretties. Bring that tellurium to me. Right, okay, so, yeah. A lot of people have got a lot of hours in that. That's quite interesting. Um... In fact, it's very interesting. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple of his things 
I used to go around just blowing up care bears and stuff like that. You know, that care bear term. I don't particularly like it, but I get it. Now this is limpets working correctly as they plow into the ground and explode. But this is... This is it working correctly, isn't it? When you think about it. Here we are, look. Bang. Anything else going to blow up? Oh, he was infamous as well. Mr. Free to Play. We were... This one time, we were at one of the Thargoid sites, and we're all sat there in our little ships, our explorer ships, right? Um, Dave Wheel Talk, 07. Yes, I'm letting the limpets do the funky damage. Uh, they're going to pick up my ruthenium for me. So, we're at this this one Thargoid site, and of course we're waiting for the Thargoid to come to the barnacle, and we're all sat there like all kumbaya commanders and all the rest of it. And, um... He turns up with one of his cronies, like in his, in his corvette. And we didn't stand a chance, right? I was there in, like, you know, um, whatever it was. The Inquisitive Badger. It's not particularly Asp Explorer, right? Oh, my God. There's just bits of ship everywhere. Like, he just destroyed everyone. But then it turned out he had uh, some sort of, like, I don't know, done some sort of, like, nefarious way of God rolling things. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Makes no bloody difference to me what he did. It was a good laugh, I thought. But um, frustrating, but a good laugh. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I thought it was funny, but if it was happening all the time, and then it was the smiling dog crew, they used to go after a lot of streamers. Remember that woman who used to be on, um, BBC Click? What was her name? Kate Russell. Now, I'd been watching her for years. She used to have quite a few computer tech programs, and... Like, being in the tech industry, you were kind of lacking someone out there to have a program on certain things. And she's quite good. Very good, in fact. Um, I remember watching one of her streams as well, and she was, like, flying around in some sort of, like, unarmored thing in open with her crew with her. And they just swap, just swoop in and just destroyed the lot. There was just no ifs, ways, or buts. Destroyed the lot of them. And you think... Trying to provide good quality entertainment here. Yeah. Uh, and you think, yeah, that's a bit of a pain. But if you are playing in open, it's what you're going to get, isn't it? Yeah, he, it was engineering exploits because it was like one shot kills with his ship. And he was part of Smiling Dog Crew, wasn't he? If I remember. But that's going back a couple of years now.
Yeah. And he's the one who took down... What's his name, wasn't it? Um, Salome. All that work had gone into that backstory. Yeah, we just destroy her. Done. But to be fair, Frontier should have made it. That you couldn't really destroy a, a player. You know? Put something in there. Lots of things happened. Lots of things went horribly wrong at that stage, didn't it? Right, well, I'm going to go get my cup of coffee. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, I have returned. I must fix that thing where it says, ah, the rebuy screen. Um...
Why is it doing that? Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Follow me here, here. That one there. Right, okay. So, why is that like that then? Right, then. Settings. Oh. Okay. Alright. If I do that then. Right, that comes up. Yeah, brilliant. It's only a test. Don't panic. I haven't died. Again. And then it fails to work. Oh well, there you are then. Never mind. Uh, how many have we got now? Quite a few. Right, yeah. The thing is as well, I mean, a lot of YouTubers and Twitch people, they're on all the time. And people invest their time in them and, you know, get chatting and get to know each other and that sort of thing. And then all of a sudden, real life gets in the way. And then they'll drop off the face of the planet. You know, real life will get in the way. And then they're not heard from again. It's weird. Yeah, if you have somebody, say, on mainstream television, and I see some of the people on Twitch and YouTube, they play to an audience more than what you get on EastEnders, right? And then all they've got to do is fart in public. And it's, it's big news. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? Nobody hears from them. They're just gone. And, or they just finished, decide to finish. Or, or that sort of thing. All right, well, I'm full of tellurium. Cargo scoop retracted. Uh, I think he's, he's still knocking about. I haven't seen any videos from him lately, unless he's made the jump to Star Citizen. I think he was on with Yamix the last time I saw him. About a year ago. Right, the C5A now, we've done that, Technetium. Uh, we got, so we, I've done Polonium, I've done Ruthenium, I've done Terlarium, I've done Technetium. And now I'm going to go to Utoz. LS dash K for your tritium and antimony is what I'm going to do. So we're going to find the old carrier. There he is. We're going to carrier management. Yeah, his stuff was quick, snappy, was to the point. Good voice. Well, let's get somewhere where we know we're going to be going, like... So we haven't got to travel to the arse end of nowhere. Uh, that one. Right. Best get to the carrier, Ricky Tick, now. This is it, you know, people come and go. People decide they're gonna go and then they wanna come back. And like I say, you know, sometimes just life gets in. Perhaps they were PlayStation players, Xbox players. You don't know, do you? Stormlinks, Bud Trooper.
So, you know, it, it, it's very... Uh, up in the air, isn't it? So, here's my plug for what... For me, right? Um, where is it? Have you followed or subscribed or liked? And if not, why not? Is it because it's rubbish? But if so, why are you still here? However, it would mean quite a bit if you do hit that like and that subscribe button and also that follow button. That's all I ask. There's my blatant pug plug. You have put a bit of on there as well, like. There you go, done. Mr. Free to Play, and I was away. But thank you very much, Mr. Free to Play. You get the call out in an 07. And of course, a lot of you have probably already done it. Commander Fours Firth. Oh, seven. Thank you, Commander. Well, they're meant to be doing Knights of the Old Republic or remaking that. They've, they've done a remake of the original Dark Forces. But I'm going to wait till that comes down a bit because I'm not ready to drop £22, British, on... A 10 year old, sorry, bloody hell, 30 year old game. That came out like in the 90s. I'm gonna say 95. So, you know. Right, gotta stay on message here because if I don't get to this carrier in time, I'm gonna look a little bit daft. Well, more dafted than usual, anyway. Okay, here it is. We're disengaging to the carrier, Batman. Number nine. Okay. So do you think we're going to get a replacement community goal then this Thursday for something else you've got to find in those Titan things? Never know, you might. I need to do some AFK as well in my my type 10. Cargo hold at maximum capacity.
Okay, what we got here? So, um, how much we got left in the tritium? Ah, we still got a bit there. We're okay. We'll fill up before we make our way back to the bubble. Um, all that sorted. Sorted, sorted. Done. Engines. See, I need to go. I need to get some of the materials now, like that. Manufactured materials. That's the stuff I'm lacking. Eccentric hyperspace trajectories. Oh, it's been good times, I think, all over the place, really. Like I say, content, people come and go. Life gets in the way. One of those things, really, isn't it? One of those things is what it is. Ooh, a bit of lockdown in five minutes. So, you know. We got time to get to the command deck at least, haven't we? Plater, good old Plater. Lots on his other channel about his his illness and how he was dealing with that. Raised a lot of money. I always like coming in here and seeing if anyone's, you know, hovering where they shouldn't be. Walking through the the plates. Looking for something, Commander. Where's my ship? Um, looking for something, Commander. Certainly not looking for that. Um, there should also be the opportunity to change the decor you've got in here. Bit of a Thargoid ship. Bit of a pirate yeah. ship there. Bit of a hole on the wall. Depending on how you want to do it. Don't know what the number two is all about there. Why is that smiley face when it's all obviously empty? Mood lighting. Change the colour of the mood lighting. What's with the plants? Like, you kind of got to have some, makes it look classy. And I do, I do kind of wonder, what is the point of this? Weapons for discerning customers. Like, if they don't Give get supplies you any questions. of, you know, funky stuff, then, you know, what's the point? I mean, okay, you could turn around and say, oh, well, you know, I'm going to upgrade. Sure. I'm going to upgrade things, and I possibly could. If I had weapon components, tungsten carbide, and all the rest of it, which I could go and trade for, but I still need those manufacturing instructions. You know? All this sort of stuff. I've got far too many weapons, and I haven't done much engineering on it to to warrant going any further. And then, you know, with the okay, suits. let's take a look. You know? Some of these things I don't... I always wear... I always wear the... 
the um the Maverick. Anything else you need? You know where to find me. Yes, I bet. Um It's like, okay, and where's that light coming from again? There, right? And like, why is the, why have they lit the fan up? All important questions. And like, come on, you need more than one to guard me. Where's the other one over there? Don't I pay enough for this carrier? And another thing, quite a few chairs, isn't there? And what's all this about? Well, Stormlinks, you can always, you know, start again with a new commander. And then you go, yeah, I don't like this. You know? You realise, hang on, why, why can my ship only jump 17 light years? And why can't you sit in here while your ship jumps? I mean, you're the captain, right? And for parity, why isn't there a room over there? I've been escorted now to my command chair. Two minutes to go. There you are then. Seven-year-old build. Probably still good today, mind you. Yeah, no one needs the drama. Not even from a content creation point of view. You just need steady content coming in. Um, once you've got steady content coming in, know you can stream, you can start to organise things around it, and you can enjoy playing the game. Like this today, hasn't been particularly what you call groundbreaking great gameplay. But I've enjoyed it because I have been playing the game, not just streaming. Well, there is Stormlinks. There is you. You can upgrade to a different color in the in the in the store, but it, it's not what you call fantastic. Okay, we got we got one minute. Okay, we're jumping. Counting down to jump. Five, four, three, two, Are we there yet? 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 I don't think we're there yet. Right, well... What's next? Ooh, ooh. 
B5A, your tritium. You can now get out of your seat. Well, good job. Bit dark out there, isn't it? Are the crystal shards better than brain trees? Not really. 07 Commander. Thank you, Bear. Well, thank you very much. Advice on what to do with second Titan drive found. Tengu Bear Super Chat. Keep it. Two dollars. Advice on what to do with second Titan drive found. Submit one, keep the other one. Because you can bet your bottom dollar at some stage in the game. That's if you've got a fleet carrier, mind you. Um, or you can just sell it. Or you can hand it in. It's up to you. But I would see it. If you've got a fleet carrier, keep it. Um, simply because Frontier are very shortly going to ask for one of those components to build the new drive they're putting into game. Well, that's what I think. Okay, here we go. Um, let's get rid of all this malarkey. We said A, didn't we? Is it A1 I said? I can't remember. What am I saying? What am I doing? What day is it? Who are you? Who am I? Uh, no, it's not. It's B5A. Uh, 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 B5A. Lock that destination. Launch. We got limpets and everything. Well, it would be would be nice to have some sort of gate in there. Is Raxler a gate in between galaxies? Ooh, now now we're talking. This is a bit of a while away. Look at it. Good grief. Later that same day. That's when it was truly was dangerous. You're right there. Bloody half an hour. That is the right one, isn't it? D3. Make sure I'm going to the right bloody place. D3. B5A. Unfortunately, it is. Oh, well, there you go. That's where we're going. I see it's not taking a bloody hour to get there. All power to the engines. Bloody jump the carrier up there. Is the carrier... Because the carrier cooled down. Because I thought I could have got the carrier there, to be honest. Bet you, you can't. Bet you can't get there. I bet you can't get there. Oh, lovely. It might just be easier to get get on the carrier and just get there. Fifteen minutes.
I think a lot of it is the world we live in. Nobody wants to feel victimized. They want people to play their game. That's why I think they did it. Um, and just having an open only version of the game, I think they probably felt that they were opening people up that they wouldn't enjoy the game if they were being victimized by whomever or whatever, perhaps. Um, who knows? I suppose it's quite split there, really, isn't it? Oh, they would be. Titans would be completely, completely destroyed. Does make you wonder, doesn't it? I mean, I like my private group. I do. I agree. Well, that's what they apparently they, they are going to put incentives for you to play in open, and I think it's going to be all around the Python. That's what I that's what I think. I played in open mostly. And then, you know, if I was doing something severe, like s serious, I'd switch to, you know, a standard group. But then, you know, like you say, I mean if you you were then you you switch to open and have a go. And, you had that little rush of adrenaline like you had a cargo hold full of gold, you had no shields, a full pack of cigarettes, and you were wearing sunglasses. And whether you got ganked or not, that was completely up to you, wasn't it? The Inglorious, how's it going? Lots of player, player pirates. Yeah, you're right. There is. But like I've always maintained, right? You've got these other ranks. You've got like Duke, King, whatever, right? Admiral, Rear Admiral. All this stuff means nothing other than getting access to a capital ship, which you get, for example, at Duke, right? Don't you say for the for the cutter? So what's the incentive to go further? If in Imperial space and you are indeed a king, a king of what? Is this going to come about if we have bases? Could do. You could have, you know, if you have the rank, you could have better regal refinements for your base or palace. Who knows? I mean, I'm just, you know, shooting the breeze, as it were. The thing with this is, and, it, and it, I think it's a big thing, is that I don't think they're going to think like that. There's so much stuff inside of Elite Dangerous, so much stuff inside of Elite Dangerous that has been started and then put on the back burner. Or storylines that haven't been pursued. Or storylines that have been put in place have a whole new story, but they haven't been discovered. And yet the player base has not been manoeuvred to them. It would be good if all these storylines that had been factored into the game. Different bases, A leads to B, leads to C, leads to D to E. If there was, you know, a message. I said, look, there, there's stuff out there that you still haven't found around. And give a clue. This. And then people would spring into action. 
right? Like coiled tigers, wouldn't they? And um, kind of be on it like a car bonnet. I reckon. Be making bonuses on scythe hunting. That's all right, isn't it? So here we are. It is Wednesday, 10 to 5 in the afternoon here in sunny Wales. We've been on for 3 hours 40 minutes doing the crystal shards and getting that malarkey out the way. Last two sites we're doing here for... Blah, 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 blah. Well, actually not for that because that's ridiculous. We're doing um, yttritium and antimony is what we're doing. Well, exactly. Nobody misses the travel times. And perhaps that's what this new frame shift drive is going to make things a bit more accessible. You never know. See, you never know. Um, could be. Could be. Who knows? Who knows and who knew? Hasn't taken us that long to get up there, mind, does it? So, you know, we're, we're kicking it. Okay. Right then. The planet is nearly upon us. It sounds rather dramatic, doesn't it? Um, rather dramatic. Where are we? Where are we going? Did we say A? I think we did. Let's aim in the general direction. Well, that's the thing, Blue Void. It's probably worthwhile, you know, if they put a community goal out saying, Oh, put all this stuff in here. <laughs> no, I'll put the bare minimum in, thanks very much. They did this with Meta Alloys if you remember, not so long ago, but it was about the Maelstroms. Community Goal came out. Hey, Commanders, deliver as many meta alloys as you can to whoever it was. Palin or Ramtau, or one of the clowns. Um, and we'll give you credit. Ooh, uh, yeah, okay. You, are, you can have a hundred, right? For a bit of money. And I'll keep the other 200 for myself, thanks. Just as well, because... Um, the next week, it was... A recipe for a new module. Containing, you guessed it, meta alloys. So I think, right, these, these Thargoid materials might well be a thing and like it's worthwhile going in picking up as many of those drive components as you possibly can and other things that you find in there because you can guarantee whatever's coming anti-thargoidness and i reckon the titans should be getting more difficult and as the war progresses more, and more they should be releasing more and more modules and technology to help combat the thargoid threat and if the Titans are the thing, right, and let's face it, we are getting rid of them. I wouldn't say easily, but like, it's not difficult now, is it? Even I can do it, right? And I'm rubbish. 
Commander Saigon, thank you for following. Right? And I'm rubbish. So, when you think about that, is something else coming? I mean, I don't think the Thargoids are going to go away. Right? They'll still be, you know, nibbling here, nibbling there, having a nibble over there. Oh, we'll invade that system. That sort of stuff. And then, it's a good point in the chat. I just caught my eye then. Salvation. He's a sneaky old sausage, isn't he? What about him? What's all that about? Okay, I used to develop this lovely weapon. It went poof. They all shut down. They all started up again. They've completely ruined a planet. Right? Ruined it. And then as a result, what happens then? Is he coming back? Is he part of this general intelligence AI? Ooh, what about the Guardians? Ooh, there's an AI there. Has he got a little bit of this and a little bit of that and mashed it all together and there's going to be a new salvation? Is he dead? <laughs> Who knows? These are the interesting storylines they've got to draw on for the next couple of years, to be honest. And that's what they've just... What's in game at the moment? Then you've got all the Raxler malarkey. He's a guardian. He probably is now. He's probably like one of those ascended things like off Stargate. He's gone up into the thing. Could be, couldn't it? It's like... We have base building. Here's a question for you on base building, right? <clears throat> so for science, let's hypothesize about this. Base building. You build a base on a planet, right? Lovely, marvelous, fantastic. Don't know how that's going to work, but say you build a base, and base building's a thing. And you've got your ship stored there and all the rest of it. And it's a it's a trade port and you've got the right look. Say the Thargoids move in. What happens? Can you not access your base? <laughs> Dunno. What about if you could and your base was brought online? Could you have or could you fit it with anti-Thargoid weaponry? And that's the thing as well, right? What Frontier haven't done... This is not me picking, but what they haven't done is these bases, this war's been going on for how long? How long have the Thargoids been in-game? Let's say four years. It's about that at least, isn't it? Right? Four years, and they've been attacking settlements and prison colonies, and they've been beefing people, they've been taking people of the Thargod cult, they've been attacking mega ships and Thargod ships and Adamasters masters and God knows bloody hell whatever, right? Been doing all of that. You don't see these bases fitted with anti-thargoid weaponry. Even the mega ship we saw, or you know the Imperial frigate that came in, a big capital ship, that didn't have anti-thargoid weaponry on it, did it? And, like, in some zones, you have all the repair and decontamination limpets used to be coming from um, those capital ships. Yet, when the one jumped in on the weekend with us, it was like, yeah, well, I'm here and I'm just going to shoot some scouts. There'll be a few limpets, but nothing too heavy, like, you know? So, why haven't the bases... And those capital ships. Orbital flight engaged. Yeah, and that's right, fish sticks. At what point are we going to be sticking it to the thargy? Right? And what do I mean by that? Well, I'll tell you about sticking it to the thargy. Why are we going to go into that coal sector? And is that what that new frame shift drives for? Ooh, I think we're on to something. What do you think? We could be on to something. Interesting stuff. Right. 
Right, we're coming in. Apparently I've got an incoming message. Must be the carriers jumped. Right, okay then everybody. Let's find some stuff. So obviously I didn't blow anything off that. Let's see what we got. Nice place to be. Okay, this is for your tritium, I think. Yes, I've tried. Well, you mean what? You mean with with the old suit? Yeah, I mean I could do. I think I have. Can't remember to be honest. Quite possibly. Get in here. Obviously, it's it's bringing something back. I mean, who knows? Any material is a goal. There could be a faction for all these people, right? The rescuees, Thargoid indoctrinated refugees. You just don't know, do you? Bit of nubium there. Always worth a bit of nubium. What are we going to get now? It's like, ooh, the lucky dip. Nubium. Ooh, more nubium, perhaps? We like nubium. Nubium's good for frame shift drives and whatnot. All depends if the Thargoid's going to hold a grudge, innit? For us, all Thargoids are fair game. That's the thing. Whether they're the peaceful faction, or whether they're not. It's like, you're having it, Sonny Jim. Job done. Get the Shard Cannons out. It's like I'm not knocking much out there, am I?
Nubium, Nubium. Let's have a look. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we could do with a bit more Nubium, couldn't we? bit of this, could do a bit of that. Of course, we haven't collected anything what we're meant to be collecting here anyway, but we haven't found any shards, so... What's this doing? Is it coming? Is it doing anything? Oh, something's coming back. Let's face it, what we want, on foot Thargoid combat. Otherwise, what's the point of having Odyssey? If all the Thargoid war is a space battle. Discuss. You know? It's true. It's like, well, okay. Um, that's what you really want, isn't it? Well, yeah, we need more on-foot weaponry, on-foot armor. You know, what? what's all this going to look like? That, indeed, everybody, as they used to say in the UK, is the wonder of woolies. We don't know. being bowled over by stuff here, do you know what I mean? Um, ooh, hang on, says he. Oh no, I'm shitting myself. Go run, fly, my pretties. Pick up all my stuff. Well, that would be good. Can you imagine you having to take down several, you know, by yourself? That would be the answer, wouldn't it? I think it's, I think it's, they're missing a trick. Start off with the zombies, and then the Thargoids come in, and then you're in trouble, Chief. 
Do you know what I mean? Then you're going to be in trouble. Your tritium is what we're mining, everybody. We're mining your tritium. From orbit. I think we could be a bit closer. About there, for example. Ground is the ground combat fun? Or oh, we have a whale of a time. My God. I mean, normally, I stream on a Saturday and a Sunday, right? Um, normally. Like I said, it's only because I'm, I'm off this week and I've been left to my own devices that I'm streaming today. But normally, I would be in work and this, this, this wouldn't be a thing. So anyway, right? So... Yeah, we've been doing a bit of the old Thargoid War and, and what have you, and that's great. But normally, you know, it's on-foot ground missions. You have a wheel of a time. I think it's brilliant. I mean, all right, some of the missions can be a bit samey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once you've done them enough. But, like, that's the same with everything. Is it not? It's the same with absolutely everything. You're gonna need bigger guns. You're gonna need, yeah. You, I mean, you're gonna need a Thargoid gun. You're gonna need a Mycoid flamethrower, or like that splurge gun they had on Ghostbusters 2, the Ecto, the Ecto slime gun. That's what you're gonna be needing. You're gonna be needing some of that, ain't you? All right? Was it the mood slime? Have a bit of a hosing down with that, Chuckles. See you there, Thargoid. Stand there and I'll mood slime you. And whether or not that's going to be a goer, I don't know. Ship launched exosuits. I think you could probably do something where... You... The ship needs to be more interactive with the commander. So you go down, and we get this a bit, I suppose, with, with the SRV, but like, you go down in a certain bit of gear, like say a Maverick suit, but then, you know, the narrative of that mission changes. It's like, shit, there's Thargoids. Br bit like Batman in his pods, right? Drop pod turns down. Right, there's me Thargoid suit in there. Suit up, fellas. No dramas. Well, that would be something. All controlled from the ship. Make the crew on the ship something. You got them there, sat around. Well, they just sat around. Oh, there's not a slot for them. There's a bloody chair there. They should be there by default. And if they and if someone else wants to get in, well, then the crew person can go and sit in the hold. In a jump seat. If you know what I mean. Well, think about it. You have a more lab some of the more elaborate bases, some of the scientific bases. You put a couple of Thargoids in there with the lights out. Brown trouser time, Chuckles, I tell you. Brown trousers all round. I mean, you know, would it get old quick? Probably. But if you did it where you didn't know if a Thargoid was going to be present, well then that would be something, wouldn't it? Now that would be something. Certainly something to think about. 
And not enough is made of the terrain in the game either. Like, where's your volcanoes? So here we are. Right, very good. Right. But, all things considered, we're at the Thargoids burrowing. The site's a surface site. Why can't we get into those Thargoid sites? Why can't we get inside the spires? You know, ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking the turkey. I mean, it's got to be new weapons, because if they just say, oh, now you've got Thargoid missiles in your rocket launcher, that's hardly what you call a close combat weapon, is it? A Guardian Sentinel Javelin style missile launcher. What you want is a Guardian sort of like lightning gun. Again, bit like the Ghostbusters photon collider thing, but in game. That I think is is something. Could have legs. Will this engine support that level of graphics interactive interactive ability? I don't know. There's lightning in game. Is enough being done? I should be recording this as a video. Is enough being done with all these you know, spiky things we're finding in space. And when I say spiky things, I'm on about like, you know, there's these big crystalline entities, there's these mushrooms flying around, all that sort of crap. Is enough being done with that? I don't think so. They can do so much more. Like an art cannon. You got it. Perhaps engineering of the SRVs to help with. There I say it, the Thargoids. But then again, I was hoping with the SRVs we'd get something a little bit like Battle Tank. That would be something. Another good idea there for more multiplayer. Battle arena for SRV Scorpions. Or whatever other SRVs they plan on bringing us. That could be something. My God, we're giving them gold today. Absolute gold. That's a gold, is what we're giving him. Does make me wonder, mind you. Does make me wonder. Right, I think we're done there. What we got? How many we got? Ooh, 84. Let's back off, do a bit more, shall we? So we're backing off so they disappear. And then we're going back in.
ship launch skimmers. Well, drones, yeah, you know, that sort of thing would be good. All these things are really good ideas. I've got to go and take some medication a minute, everyone. Just a second. All right, then. Uh, we're coming down to it, aren't we? We're nearly there. On your tritium. Let's get into the, the proper mode. Proper mode, proper mode. It might be the Thargoid Carapaces. That might be it, actually. You know, it, it could be 
or the bone structures. That's the stuff you need. Thargoid caustic armor for the offensive. This is why I say to people, like, you know, don't be too quick to to pass off all those materials for for a bit of cash. For the community goals. Because What, is there nothing? Good grief. I thought I'd be, I thought we backed off a bit there. That's okay, because there's a few. Unleash the flying monkeys. Well, you say Zonta, an antimatter bomb. There was the old energy bomb in the original game, wasn't there? Remember that? Press E for energy bomb. Is that? <laughs> that was it, mate. Anyone chasing you? That was their biscuits, and I don't mean custard creams. That was it. What does shooting them do, Derek? Oh seven, by the way. G A. 07. And Narcos turned up. Narco. Um, there you go. Um, shoot him with these things. Whatever I'm shooting him with. The remote um, flak launchers. And any deposits on there, they release the minerals. So I'm just able to mine them now with, with limpets as opposed to driving around like a right tool in an SRV. Easier. Um, there's, there's loads of things, really, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, the previous versions, you know, the old BBC versions, there was an energy bomb. There was a rear-facing and a side-facing laser port and you had something called military lasers that are lacking from this game. You have beam lasers, you've got burst lasers, you've got pulse lasers. Military lasers. Blog twat! 07, how's it going? The Goliath. Yeah, it'd be good stuff. As you can see, material-wise, we're not doing so bad. Tin, we're not doing so good on tin, are we? Um, like selenium, could do with a bit of that. Exactly, Derek. It's it's this is. This came about what? I'm going to say about last October. Update 15. Smell that? 16. They, they sort of fixed the limpet so they could go out and do their funky thing. So, you know, your tritium, that's what we're here for. Relatively straightforward. Let the limpets do the hard work. 
That's what it's all about. But it actually destroyed the things. It, it, granted, it was a bit like the ECM. Now that drudge of work is done. I know. I'll be fair. I... Now I'm doing this, I'm occupied. It's great. Um, I was a bit bored this morning because I'd been off work all week, but um, kind of is what it is. I want to see what that non-human structure is. Carbon storage full. Good stuff. We, we're getting some additional materials from shooting. I can't what we got on that. We need one more. Go and beef some other things. What's next? I want to see that non-human structure. And then we're going to go on to that one and do what we got to do. Yep. Pops those materials right out. There are no space for material. We're material doubt, everybody. Cargo scoop retracted. It's Mr. Duck has followed. Oh seven. Oop. 07, Mr. Duck. Frameshift drive charging. Frameshift drive is indeed charging. It, it's a godsend. I'm not being dramatic, but it is. It really is. Is what it is. It makes things a lot easier, especially like at the the Guardian site, site the the Guardian sites as well, right? Not as challenging now. You can get in there and do all that. It's good stuff. And we do this in in the stream for science. Black and collector limpets, yes. You can also use flechette as well, I believe. Each of these matte shard plants has a Thargoid sensor on. That's what we're going to have a look at now. They're planning to... Or they need those materials for something. Could be, couldn't it? But well, like, if these, these plants are so important, why isn't there a capital ship parked above it at all times? I, mean, I know we saw one on the weekend. We don't see many of the old capital ships these days, do you? No, oh, no, you don't. Let's go have a nose. What could possibly go, go wrong? Exactly. Think about, oh, I can't do any engineering. Shit. You know, I can't get to, you know, make, get into these, these material shard areas would be a hell of a lot different. Right, we're dropping. We're going to look at this non-human signature. Here we go. We're going in. We're dropping like a rock.
For a start, you tipped off, it says, it's non-human. We're going in. And it is indeed associated bits around it. Oh, integrity compromised. Am I down? I'm down. See? Now you can't get too close to all this because it kills you, but you got the stuff, and you got other stuff, and you can see, you know, there's an IQ there. But if we look here, this entire place looks like there's something there anyway. Just look at the ground. If in doubt, shoot it with rocket launcher. Of course it does nothing. You know what I mean? Now I've taken my SRV out. But either way, it's a dead end. Or I could have picked that up and had a good look around like with it. It's, oh yeah, it certainly is. It's deader. I just like, I just like that explosion. I just think it's brilliant. Anyway, there you go. Bit of a sleeping dragon. It's like, yeah, right, who, who's, who's peeing in my pond sort of thing? Like, and why here is it here? You know, let's take, let's take the, let's take the lights off. Three. So, you know, it, it's kind of... There's no rhyme or reason to it, is there? Flight assist off. Flight assist off. Just kind of is the way it is. Anyway. On to our next one, which is... Now we've got a human signal there as well, like, so you've got a non-human and you've got a human one, so I'm just saying. Um, that one, because we've got whatever we got left there. Landing gear retracted. Let's get out of here. Uh, so we're now coming to the end of, of what we're doing, which is onto our last material. Well, it's not last because it's selenium. You could always go do a bit of selenium. This is going to be antimony on B5C. We're jumping. Three, two, one. Exactly. At what point are they going to start turning up and going, thank you very much. We got all that. But you can always mine, you can always get some of these as well, if you're lucky, in the occasional, you know, asteroid field. That's the thing. What are my plans for the next stream? Well, it's going to be get back to the bubble. 
uh, park myself by Oya somewhere. And uh, we're going to start all that malarkey for the next stream. One moment, everyone. We're indoors. Okay. See, by answering the phone promptly to her, she won't suspect that I'm doing nothing like playing this. That's the plan, you see. Might do some scout sampling, actually. Build a, build a ship for that. But, you know, all in the same stream. All good stuff, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? All good stuff. And something's wrong with Streamlabs because it looks like Twitch has fallen off the planet. But I know a lot of you are here watching on Twitch, so something's going on. Something is going on. It's Mr. Duck says you can pretty much shoot and collect with a limpet. All mats. Yes. Well, yes. Well, you've got to find the bits first. And then once you've found the bits, and I will show you this now, so as, as you're here, Mr. Duck. Right, ready? Here we go. So we're going to mode. So I've scanned that. We know where we're going. We're going to go for... the blue bits and the green bits inside the blue bits. Right? So we're going in. So we're looking at the greeny teal areas. Orbital flight engaged. Let's not go too steep. So that, that that's a good spot there, just like where the, the center of the screen is. Like we can fly around there, no dramas. And as we get a bit closer. Right. Crystalline shards in our discovery mode. Right? So like you know, you can go. See? Oh look, I can see exactly where I'm going. Alright, so here we go, we're going in. We're gonna go for about by here. I think that's probably a good good spot. Though you can never really tell till you get there. Get down nice and low. Ooh, her misses, that's what she said. And away we go. Put that on so we can see a bit better what's going on. Quite mountainous this is. Cargo scoop deployed. Let's see what we can find. Let's get down there. Get down, get down, get down. We go look, some there already, look. Thank you very much. Not a lot, you know, but some. Off goes the limpet. Then it used to, there is a rule, like, get about between 600 and 700 feet up, and the limpet won't have an head fit. That's what I would say. Whether that's still a thing, I don't know. And there you have it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully the, they'll come back. Oh, stuff's coming back already. What am I picking up? 
antimony. The first one. And away you go. No, because the limpets, for some reason, still crash. They've got to have time to flamboyantly go down. Because the, the limpets move in quite a flamboyant nature. It's quite safe to see, I think. They can like, go down, they go round, and yeah, and then they pick it up, they scoop it up, and they come round. And if they interrupt with that arc, then, you know, it'll just break. So, yes, flamboyant limpets. Like, one's blown up already, look. Pack lots of limpets. Easy peasy lemon squeezies. As Sooty used to say. See, I've lost one limpet already because I didn't like it. Bit it and miss. But generally, you know, it, it kind of works. as they say. So exactly, do not forget your limpets. Do not forget your limpets. Right, so we can carry on having a good look now. It might be a more denser site we can go and have a go at. The lower you get, I mean, one shard's not going to do it for me. Couple over there. Depends on the terrain as well. If it's too rocky, loads of crevices, the things might get jammed and you're in a complete world of hurt there. When I move on to the coffee to the beer, well, do you know what? It's going to be a difficult one today because I've got to go pick my daughter up, so it'll be a bit later on. But yeah, I'm feeling it. Got a couple of cans of Guinness knocking about. That's what it's all about. And Guinness is virtually milk anyway, as far as we're looking at it. So you're talking about doing this, and we'll do this for science then. Like that. See how flamboyant it is? Anyway, enough of all that messing about. See we can find somewhere a bit more denser. Alcohol containing ginger beer. 
Or is it just ginger beer that happens to contain alcohol? There's a little bit of a difference. But yeah, I've seen I've seen that stuff as well. There go the flying monkeys. So now, now we know some are going to die. Some, however, might not. Yeah, I mean, I've had that alcoholic ginger beer. And uh, when I was out, when was I out? It wasn't last Saturday. It was Saturday before. Uh, me and the missus went to the rugby because the kids went skiing. We had nothing to do. It was absolutely fantastic. And I went into a pub in Cardiff. Uh, the Tiny Rebel Pub, which is a UK microbrewery, and they had a beer there called Fruit Salad. Now, let me see if I still have a picture of said drink. I might. Because being a sad case, I thought it was a nice colour. Um, 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 um. No, for some reason, I do not. Anyway, it looked like fruit salad and it tasted like fruit salad. Problem with that, it was about 6%. Blew your head off. Very nice. It wasn't a cider, it was a good beer. But yeah, good cider, yeah. In fact, with cider, I prefer Perry, which is pear cider. Um, in the summer, I think it's, it's lighter, it's nicer. Sometimes some of the cider can be a bit harsh, you know, a bit, you know, a bit, bit too formald formaldehyde. But yeah, good old pear cider. Arr, a bit of, bit of ice in the glass. In a cold glass. That's the good thing about it. Right, obviously, we've got a limpet. That's we got a limpet down. Limpet is stuck. Nice scrumpy. That's some heavy stuff, that is. That is some heavy stuff. The desolate wasteland we've got here. In it. It's a good summery drink. It just... With cider, it, happens, it just tends to mug you off when you least expect it. Um, that's what I find, anyway. How are we doing? 57. 93 to go. But so far, so good, if you know what I'm saying. Right, okay, let's go and see if we can find anything a bit more denser.
Well, no, you've been sat down all afternoon, you're talking the toot, you think, yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right, and you're drinking and you're drinking and you're throwing that side you down. And what was worse, that if you managed to go out to a pub during the, during the pandemic, they did table service over here, where you'd summon the Herbert, he'd come over all PPP'd up, right? And you swipe your card and you go, blah, 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 and away it go. Or if you're in the Witherspoons, you use the app, right? And then you haven't moved. And you get up to use the gentleman's room. The next thing you know, your legs don't work. And then your head doesn't work. And then basically you don't work. And then you're stuck there. That is the worst thing. Yeah, as you're thinking, why haven't we got hover SRVs? Is a hover SRV coming? Who knows? Right, let's see if we can find something else. Let's get over here a bit. Let's see what's down there. Uh, right, let's get down nice and low. Let's see what pops up. Ooh, is there something there? Gotta get now. Ooh, it's going down. And again, so are my limpets. I'm on 25. I'm losing limpets and there's no tomorrow. A scorpion trapped to a Goliath. I think <clears throat> the ability to use or drop combat drones in might be a way to that could be quite easy because they're existing game assets, aren't they? Could be. I still think the ability to modify your SRVs, modify the guns, modify the shields, modify this. Yes, you can do some engineering, but that, you know, I don't like how the manufactured, like we said before, the manufactured materials, manufactured hull, I don't like how that works <clears throat> in Elite Dangerous. It's like if you have... Um, manufactured <coughs> excuse me if you have manufactured ax munitions and then rearm then well they're gone well well why are they gone they're still in there you just filled them up with other bullets right um do you know what i mean and it's the same with the srvs there should be a thing this srv is armor plated Right, is there anything tasty around you? Like, do you know what I mean? I'm looking for something. I'm looking for a nice, tasty spot. That's about as tasty as we've seen so far. What's that? Three or four there? Yeah, exactly. I think you're right there, those class fives. Right, while well, that's doing that.
God, how much more have I got to do here? Ugh. 54. Right, okay. Does it want you one in hour turn round and let you know what you got and all the rest of it? I think it will, won't it? Oh, I can't be bothered with that anymore now. I want to find a decent cluster and say, right, bang, send the send the flying monkey limpets off after it, and kind of away we go. You know, it's um, I mean, hats off to you lot in the stream. It's laborious for me, let alone what it's like for you lot watching this crap. But I do this, so you know what's coming. Come on, limpet. I could have. I could have, but then you spend half your time just floating around looking for the massive patches. Is there that much time saved? I mean, I don't know. I mean, there might be. A lot of people haven't done it with limpets. Yeah, the stuff's out there. To do a wake scan. You, I can see the source and come close, but nothing happens when I press the assigned button. Uh, are you in range? Depending on what what scanner you've got will depend on how close you get to it. You know what? I'll do a video on that. How would you do a wake scan? There you are. I'll do a video on it. What could possibly go wrong? See, I'm just burning through the limpets, man. Burning through it.
Yeah, I went to some of the ones that were... There you are, there's one there. Right, medium sized, I'd say. That's if I... If I can find it. There. That's not bad. It's not brilliant, but it's not bad. Compared to what I've been doing. Oh yeah, you know, getting some of the the coordinates and what have you. I get it. Selenium sites. That's the interesting thing for me because selenium. Now all that is a sought after quantity, and I do have a site for that. Um, it used to be uh, hip eight three two zero four. I don't know where that is. Let me see where that is compared to everything else. That's the stuff. Way over the other side. You know, it's way over there. Just for a bit of selenium. You're better off just selling some stuff. I'm sure there's other places as well, right? How are we doing? 120. We're going to go straight back, and then we're going to go straight back down. We're going to do that site again and knock that on the air then. That's what we're going to do. HR3230 options one. Okay. Let's have a look at that one. HR3230. 3230. Zero. Selenium brain trees. Yeah, I've been there. It is way up there, isn't it? Better off just trading for it. There's, there's no, there's no, no one, no one, no one minds. It's good sharing information. Mm. Hang on. Shit. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Right, okay. 10% on the thing. Let's get this sorted out. Let's get some more ammo. Where are we? Fire groups. Yes. Right. Let's not blow ourselves up now. Right. Bring me all of the things. It could be a rim, could be, could be a rebuy screen, just from just for farming this stuff. Could be, couldn't it? It could be. Oh, 
on, pick up the stuff, my pretties. But like I said at the beginning of this stream, this is one of the processes that if you want to do engineering, you've got to do. And unfortunately, it's a necessary evil. Yeah, I'll be I'll be coming back, don't worry. Probably do it again next month. Tritium is what I need. Let's st stock up a bit more tritium. How are we doing? Not not bad. This should be the last one if we can get it. And it's off to the carrier. Off to the carrier, you say? The carrier? Off to the carrier. And we'll start our journey home. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No, I'll buy it off you, obviously. I pay my I pay my debts. Right, brilliant. We're off. Blame my carrier. Yeah, I've got about 11, probably 10 after this now. So I'm not desperate just yet. I've just got a sneaky suspicion there's going to be a tritium shortage. I don't know. Surprised they haven't put one of those in game yet, the tritium shortage. You did indeed, fish sticks. You did top it right up. And he earned the award of Diamond Geezer for doing so. Yeah, that was the only thing about the, the console transfers, that the, everything must go. Yes, we understand. Everything must go. Uh, but the thing with that is, I mean, arcs, you know, it kind of fought, left a bad taste in people's mouths. Like, why, why the arcs? Right? Why, why, why the arcs? It's attached to the store, dude. You know, anyway. I mean, it wouldn't have killed people. It wouldn't have killed him to say, hey, look, do you know what? We're going to give you. 10,000 arcs because we're not doing the console anymore. It wouldn't have killed him, would it? Right. Um, but anyway, whatever. Squadrons, your friends, friends group and squadrons, something like that. I remember doing a video at the time. You paid for the next 30 years. <laughs> Right, we're going in. Handy to have, I suppose. So we are materialed up. We could always have more material. We could always have more material. Um, Gotta be nice and gentle now, at 10% health. Oh, 
Cookie, 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 cookie. Right. Nice and gentle. And we're down. There you are. Easy peasy lemon squeezies. Um, the damage I've had. Let's get rid of all of that. Confirm. Lovely. Let's get on our merry way. Right, let's go to Spanch then. Hasabahanch. Root planners. Uh, I want to go to a fleet carrier router. Right, source system. Where the bloody hell are we? O U T O T Z space L S dash K space D eight dash three. Uh, Spelt it wrong. Utahs. Utahs. Stuff. And where am I going? Christ knows. Open that galaxy map. Right, so, oh yeah then. We need... Who's that? It's around there, isn't it? It's around. It's around. Is that him? Or is that Thor? Oh yeah, there he is. Get on down there. What's a good, what's a good place to go and park the carrier for all of this? Are we thinking? Yeah, that's the thing. Good old Spanch. Like what are we what are we what are we thinking? So where's that then? Forty eight forty eight what? Where's that turned up over there? Casio play, 48 Casio play. Oh, let's have a look. <clears throat> 48 CL. A S S. L O P. E L A E. No results found. I know. Well, we've got, I've got a port right there. That's one jump out. I've got a ship there. Um, but you can guarantee that's going to be full, isn't it? But that's where the work is. 
Is it Lu Hang? I mean, that's that's where it is. Let's have a look. We've got HR4191. We've got... I mean, if in doubt, it's Luang, isn't it? Two gear. Have a look where that is. Do 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 do. Get rid of that. <coughs> Two gear. Do you reckon? Okay. Calculate. Right. I'll start my jumping. Oh, we got more coming in now. Let's have a look. This is where we're going. First jump. And away we go. SW07. Hip23318. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, I mean, that is close, isn't it? It's a bit of a muchness, isn't it? Hip 23318 it is. It could be, couldn't it? Anyway, my carry is jumping. I'm certainly not going to be so narcissistic as to say, hey, everyone, stay on here and watch my carrier jump four or five jumps back to the bubble. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, think about subscribing and hitting that like button. Um, it would mean quite a bit, to be fair. Have you followed and subscribed? Would you like to know more? Anyway, so... Um, Probably got stuff to do tomorrow, but Friday I'm left to my own devices. <laughs> and Saturday, I've got to take the kid to football. But I'll be back then. But I, I think it'll be okay. And he won't move off his ass because he's playing Fortnite. This, this could be amazing. I'll take him out for a bit of food. Then we're going to be on it, right? Because what else could we possibly do? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, that's what it's all about. Got a bit of time coming up. I want to have a little... Yeah, fun and relaxing stream. It, I enjoyed it. I feel quite refreshed. I was feeling a little bit down in the dumps and I can't shift this cough. So that's what we're going to do. So I probably won't do anything tomorrow. Or if I do, it might be a bit of Conan. I don't know. But anyway, just keep an eye out. Hit the notifications. You'll know when I'm on anyway. Um, that sort of thing. But thanks to everybody in, in the stream. Let's see if we can do our bit and raid someone. Should we? Why not, to which? No one bothers to raid me. A bloody hell like. Um, who we got on you? Brother Sabathius. He raids me upon occasion. Pepper. It's gonna, we're going to raid Pepper because she's a good laugh. And I like Pep. And um, we all need a bit of cone in our lives, right? We're going to raid her. It'll make her day. Sometimes I like to play vanilla, though. Right, here we go. We're reading Pep. Thanks, everyone. Catch you later.
Wiggle and Rick. And thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. I hope you have a great stream. Is Lord knocked or will you look at that? Hello, hello, hello. 